Got a new microphone, guys. I'll start at the beginning. Last time I saw you guys is my brother's birthday. It would have been his birthday, but he's dead. Get off. And I pull up his photo on Google because I don't have anything for my family. I left it all behind. Looking at my brother's photo, and I'm thinking, you know what? Our whole life, people always said we didn't look alike. And now I'm looking at his face, and I'm thinking, we don't really look alike. And I'm looking at him thinking, he kind of looks like the other side of my family. Like my cousins. Those cousins I told you about. And I remember, wait a second, my mother was just... Like, maybe there was more of a connection between my cousins who are under the same circumstance as my parents. A gay and a lesbian brought together by money to cover for their true selves. By the parents who lived in shame because it was back in, in the 50s and 60s. So they set up these false marriages. Maybe it was the rabbi, I don't know, who actually pushed it, but, you know... I know the money, the money came from my father's side because they were criminals with lots of money. And I remember my father, my mother would always talk about swinging, swingers and open marriages. She would project it onto her brother, brother's divorce. But her brother and I were, her were very close. They're still very close, like way too close. Her brother's a cocaine addict and an alcoholic. My mother's also at least a cocaine addict. My father, my, my, my cousin, my, I mean, her brother was known as a pimp in the neighborhood. Now they know my mother is a stripper and a whore. I mean, I guess her brother was pimping her. Maybe that's how it all began. Anyways, so I'm looking at my brother and thinking, you know what? He may not be my full brother. I, I, I look closely. I said, okay, you know what? I can see where he's probably, almost for sure, at least half my brother. But I can't tell which half. And I can't even be sure since we're we're both of the same family, maybe or cousins. I mean, I, if you if you look put me next to my cousin, we look just as similar as my brother and I. Many of my cousins. So even some of my friends who are Jewish Ashkenaz, it's like you know we can be brothers. So you know, I was left with this feeling like Jesus fuck. I may have not even figured out the biggest scam of them all. My parents may have pulled the, pulled the biggest scam of them. Maybe that's why my my mother didn't want my brother to have an autopsy. Because maybe something would have come out in the genetics that my father was not the real father. I have this theory. It's not a feeling. I'm not sure of it. My theory under this circumstance is that they were all swingers, this whole group brothers and sisters and cousins, whatever, living in the same little neighborhood, I guess, back in the swinging 60s. And that my mother got pregnant with a cousin of my father's. But that cousin, though that was at that cousin, those cousins, they have four brothers, or five brothers? I, I lost count, but I had at least four brothers. So they're definitely going to carry on the family name. My and that, that their mother is sisters with my father's mother, right? That's why they're cousins. So my father's mother doesn't have anyone to carry on the name. She has two daughters, and she has a son who's gay. So I'm wondering if the deal was not, hey, bring that baby over to our side of the family. We'll raise it because we want to carry on this side of the family name. We came all the way from Europe. We survived the war, whatever, you know, the name is important to them. It makes sense because my mother said she never wanted to have children. So why would she have two? And why was my father not at my birth? I know I heard that. It came out my mother was angry one day and I found out he was not even at my birth. So maybe my either my brother and I are half were not half, we're maybe we're half from we don't I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, so then Jeffrey Epstein gets, so I'm left with this feeling like, you know, miserable again, you know, because I'm like, wow. You know, I'll, never, I'll never find out he's buried. And I don't have many things of his that he's touched that I can test his genetics. In fact, I have nothing. But my mother once told me that she had an aunt or a cousin who was in her 40s found out that her mother was actually her aunt similar to what I'm explaining to you now 
and that it ruins her life. She had a breakdown. She was never the same. Similar to the situation I'm in. <clears throat> when you discover your whole past is fake, it's like your whole past personality gets wiped away. It seems like everything just got wiped off in a way. Left behind. Decapitated. On a spiritual, psychological level. So, um... Then Jeffrey Epstein gets arrested, commits suicide. I already told you I was invited to his island. Then I hear Jislyn Maxwell. My mother talked about Jislyn all the time. Like it was her best friend. I told you my mother was working at a strip club in her 40s. She must have been recruiting at that age. She couldn't have been fucking stripping at 40s in the middle of the daytime. No way. She was just as pretty as she was. You know, I don't think she was already pushing 50. She must have been in part of the management. So she was probably recruiting for Epstein with Gislen. Whenever I had a girlfriend, my mother would always comment on her body. So then I put this together. I'm thinking, okay, my parents were swingers. My mother is involved in stripping and, you know, a room full of naked people. And it's always seen. And, and she had a three way with my father, and, and like just recently uh, before I left them, she mentioned something about going to Africa with my father. And she gave this crazy laugh. And my father looked totally guilty because he knew it was impossible they went to Africa. I'm not stupid. I just spoke to them a week before. So I was like, I, you know. Well, so I'm thinking that this, this is just the past couple of days, guys, where I'm in the worst mood. I've been raging. I've been fucking. I've been losing my mind. Because I'm dealing with something completely new I never had to deal with. So, so I was sitting there, and I'm thinking, well, okay, my mother was a swinger. She's into group sex. And I'm thinking, wait a sec, well, my father, when he molested me, he was also with a bunch of men in the, in the, uh, in the racket club. It wasn't just him. There was a bunch of guys in the rack in the locker room. He was like trying to sell me or share me or whatever. It wasn't like he had me alone. <sighs> that's when I had a breakdown because that's when I realized where my brother was my entire childhood. I told you guys many times. I was like, where was my brother? I got to know him only in my twenties when I met him outside a, a mafia shooting, and I realized my own brother lived two blocks away, and nobody told me. My parents didn't tell me. Like, I mean, he's my brother. Like, where was he? What happened? Like, I, 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 we never figured it out. We just became friends again, and it just kind of got repressed, the whole question of what happened. Well, I remember now. My whole childhood, every chance my father got, he would take my brother to the racquetball club. And now, I'm, now, I'm, now I realize it wasn't just my... My father didn't just molest my brother. My father was like Jeffrey Epstein's sicko sharing my brother, sexually fucking torturing my brother with rooms full of men. My father is beyond sick. My brother didn't just get molested, he got tortured. He got raped, gang raped. I don't know why I never put it together. My father didn't only try to get me alone in my bed. He took me to those room full of men, just like my mother in a strip clip. So I realized, you know, my, my, my father, my brother, underwent probably severe psychological torture. I am sure they told my brother that if he told anyone, they would kill him or something. No doubt about it. I'm sure that's why he died after he told me. I heard that's the way they program these kids in MK Ultra, which is a Canadian invention. And you know what? If I probably looked at, I bet you, if I researched Alan, Alan, whoever his name is, who uh, was responsible for those, um, I forgot his last name, for those MK Ultra experiments, I bet you he's related to my family. I bet you I can find a connection to my father's side. It, it, everything points to it. So I heard that what they tell these kids to brainwash them is that if you tell anyone, we're going to kill you or you're going to die or something. My brother told me he was dead the next day. And I heard this is part of the system. I didn't believe it. I never heard of it until I had already experienced it. But I never would have believed it. Just like I never would have believed any of this about Jeffrey Epstein unless I was 
I confirm it. My parents invited me to his fucking island. So, guys, I mean, like, you know, four years into it, does this not bring the whole story together? You know, in a sick way. In a sick way. I told you from the beginning, my, my parents were not normal, but I had no idea. When I was sitting in the park in the first video, I thought my parents were just narcissistic. They thought they were too good for everyone. Their nose was in the air. Because they were successful business people. And, and everything was a lie. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. He's not a successful stock trader. Probably like my father. Probably inherited millions and used it corruptly to grow it. But not a legitimate brain mastermind behind any of these guys. <sighs> but, you know, I've just been really angry because uh, that's the narcissism in my father to show off my brother. Look what I got. Look what I got. You know? Anyways. Well, at least I'm glad we got Jeffrey Epstein. Hopefully, they really, he really committed suicide or they killed him or something because he was young enough that he deserved it. You know, when someone's older, like Dershowitz or Clinton even, in their 70s, it's kind of pointless. For my parents. I only say that because I read a lot of crime and most, you know, I, I, I have very, I don't think I've ever read of an offender in their 70s. I mean, yeah, I probably have, but you can count. If I've, if I've read 10,000 crime stories in my life, offenders of any kind in their 70s, I could probably count on my two hands, maybe one. They just don't commit crime. They're too frail, their hormones are, you know, they're just concerned about living. Anyways, guys, so I have a lot more to say, so I'll probably upload it after this if I remember it. I can't imagine how many of you guys have gone through similar experiences. I can't even read the comments because I keep getting triggered. I keep getting triggered into these. I keep thinking more. Guys, did you. Every time I see you, every time I record a video, I think I know everything. And then every video every time there's something else I mean this I mean re realizing that my parents were connected to Epstein a month ago or three weeks ago or whatever was just a shocker when I heard billionaire private island but this explains why I've said my mother was more evil than my father remember I told you that, guys that I still believe that because my father is a sick man but my mother was more like the business kind who would be involved in Epstein's thing. Like my father would just do it for his thrills, right? He was attracted to young boys. All right. It's very cut and dry. But my, my mother is more like sociopathic, you know, more like money and narcissism and showing off and hiding and laughing. And she needs people to laugh with, you know what I mean? She needs people. She's narcissistic. My father is just pure psychopath. He probably doesn't... I don't know. You know what? I'm just talking myself silly at this point.